Conversation. Talking with others is one of the most important things you do. When you know how to carry on a good conversation, you interest. He'll lead you to new friends. Good conversation is the key to a greater feeling of ease, knowledge, and... Like a good game, a good conversation can be pleasant for everyone. Someone gets an idea. Someone else comments on it. Another disagrees. Still another adds his share. And so it goes. Everyone keeping his eye on the ball, following the topic, joining in, and passing it around. Let's listen to a conversation. See if you can tell what's good about it. I'm sorry if I sound contrary, but I don't like it. But Jane, the community club has selected this plant for the summer camp. I think it looks pretty keen. Why don't you like it, Jane? Well, for one thing, I think the cabins are too far from the water. It's inconvenient. We have to go all this way down to the lake to go swimming, and then all the way back again to change. I see your point, Jane. And I agree. I don't think anyone will like walking all that way back and forth. Listen, everybody. That walk will give your body good conditioning. Sort of a warm-up for your swim. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously. You know, I can see where it wouldn't look very good for the cabins to be down here on the beach. Maybe you're right. They do make a nice grouping up there on the hill, don't they? Now, what was good about this conversation? Some of its qualities you can find in any good game. First, it's inclusive. Everyone participates. Second, it's spontaneous, lively and free. Third, it's pleasant, interesting, and enjoyable. And fourth, it's profitable. Something can be learned from it. And a good conversation, like a good game, can mean more friends, new interests, a greater feeling of ease and fun. But what about a conversation like this? It's a funny looking thing, isn't it? Well, it looks like it'll be great swimming. Say, did I ever tell you about I the like time I... like my new hat, Laverne. If you think you can swim, you ought to see me. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's on at the show. Well, I don't know. Now, now, listen to this. You don't know what, what you're, you're talking about. about. Okay. Why, I always know what I'm talking about. Why, there was one time when my folks and I were coming back from New York, in the car, you see, and uh, uh, they didn't see the, the road sign that pointed toward the city. So, but I told them, you see, and if it wasn't... There's the almost point, everything wrong with this conversation, isn't there? When you don't know how to talk with others, you miss out on fun, friends, and a chance to learn something. A good conversation, like a good game, depends on skill. You have to know how to keep the ball going, how to handle it. Let's see what each person must do to make a good conversation. First, be courteous. Remember how polite and friendly each member of this group was? Courtesy was expressed in phrases such as... I'm sorry. Why don't you like it, Jane? But seriously. And all spoke in a pleasant tone, on a pleasant topic, showed interest in one another's remarks, and kept a cheerful attitude. You can feel at ease in a conversation where everyone is courteous. Second, include everyone. Each of the persons in this conversation addressed his remarks to the whole group or to different members at different times instead of always to the same person. They do make a nice grouping on the hill, don't they? I agree with Jane. Listen, everybody. Third, respect others' opinions. Be ready to consider another point of view instead of ridiculing or flatly contradicting. Here are some handy phrases to remember. I see your point. I can see how it might. Maybe you're right. Fourth, 
contribute. Remember how each member of this conversation spoke up and contributed something to the discussion? For one thing, I think the cabins are too far from the water. It's inconvenient. I don't think anyone will like walking all that way back and forth. Why, that walk will give your body good conditioning. Fifth, stick to the subject. Remember how, from the beginning of the conversation, I just don't like it. To the end. It might not look very good to have the buildings down here on the beach. Each person stayed with the subject. Finally, be a good listener. Don't try to do more than your share of the talking. Remember how the members of this group were all interested listeners? Being a good listener is an important part of knowing how to converse. Now, let's look back at that other conversation. Do you think they practice the rules? Well, it looks like it'll be great swimming. Say, did I ever tell you about the time I, I swam? I my new hair. Huh? Oh, Mrs. Buck, if you think that you can swim, you ought to see me. Well, uh, no. Say, I want to the show. Oh, uh, let's play check. You don't know what you're talking about anyway. Now, you just listen to me. Why, Is there why, courtesy? Do they stick to the subject? Is there respect for others' opinions? Road sign that pointed toward the city. They were going to miss the city entirely. But I told them, oh, yeah, because uh, if, if I didn't tell them, you know, why... We were Are they good listeners? Do all contribute? Does the conversation include everyone? Yes, you get along better if you practice the rules of good conversation. Make a habit of following these rules whenever you speak with others. Can you recognize these rules in action? Look for examples of being courteous, including everyone, respecting others, contributing, sticking to the subject, and being good listeners. What do you think of the plans for the new campsite? Oh, I like it. Well, what's good about it? Well, Archie and I didn't like it at first, but Woody convinced us it's pretty good. Yeah. There, see? Well, you haven't told us your opinion yet, Diane. Well, I don't know. I just don't like it. Of course, we can't always agree. Say, did you see the picture of the new motorboats in the paper this morning? We're so beautiful. But just why don't you like the camp plan? Four of us are for it. Well, I just don't like the picnic tables over here. And maybe there could be a road coming along this way, on into the back of the cabin. How much would a road cost? I don't think the community could afford one. I can just see us out there now with picks and shovels. Yeah. <laughs> when you follow the rules, when you practice the skills, you can have a good conversation, one that is spontaneous, inclusive, pleasant, and profitable. Say, when do they expect to have the camp completed? Next summer, I hope. Boy, I'll say. And we'll have to have a picnic the very first day the grounds are open. Ooh.